There's been a lot of coverage about women and women's health across the country and a lot of efforts to undermine women's health across the country through state legislatures and the Congress. This is a, a common sense proposal to make sure that contraception is available and affordable for women and their families so that they can plan when to start and grow their families and I'd ask for your support. This closely mirrors exactly what Obamacare intends to do the to the rest of the nation that's under consideration right now by the Supreme Court. And if you're watching some of the proceedings there about what's being forced upon people, this is one of the more objectionable items. There were three days of Supreme Court oral arguments about uh, the Affordable Care Act. I wonder if you could tell us which day discussed the contraception coverage. I don't know that they have discussed it yet, Representative Winkler. I don't think I discussed that. My comment was about the U.S. Supreme Court proceedings about Obamacare. And this sort of thing is, in fact, in Obamacare. Uh, Representative Gottwald, uh, the answer to the question is never, never has contraception been an issue in the Supreme Court oral arguments about Obamacare. You are trying to distract people and to talk about something that is unpopular from your point of view and not talk about something that is needed for family planning. And I understand that some people don't like family planning. Some people don't want women to be anything other than subjected to their husbands. I understand that some people don't believe that women should have any kind of control or say or autonomy in their lives, but that's what contraception is about. It's about, give, it's about giving women an opportunity to actually have a say in their own future. And that has never, never been a part of the Supreme Court's discussion about Obamacare. It has nothing to do with it. Representative Murphy's amendment requires that, peop, that this is a, that this is a, it's an item that is covered in health plans, that health plans have to cover it. It's a mandate. We have lots of mandates in Minnesota for health care. We have them all over the place. It's one of the reasons why you always stand up and say, oh, don't force Obamacare on us because Minnesota does things so well. We do things well in Minnesota because people can't be forced into buying terrible insurance coverage. Adding this actually is a benefit to women. It's a benefit to families, and it has nothing to do with Obamacare. You like to stand up and dance around with the big Obamacare sign, but it has nothing to do with this bill, and it's embarrassing that you would say so. I am embarrassed that we are having this contraception talk on the floor. Absolutely embarrassed. What is the role of government, people? Is the role of government to make sure that we are providing contraception to women? I don't think so. I don't think that this is appropriate. I'm embarrassed. And Winkler, or Representative Winkler, you're talking about uh, this being a distraction. I think this whole talk on the national level and now on the Minnesota state level has been a huge distraction. And I don't appreciate it. You know, contraception is medicine. Contraception is a medication prescribed by a provider, a physician, or advanced practice nurse. Uh, it is a medication that treats fibroids and amenorrhea and eating disorders and migraines. It is a medication that people use, women, for all sorts of purposes, in addition to family planning. We talk about lots of things on the floor. This is a health and human services bill. We're talking about medication. This is uh, not embarrassing. This is about uh, basic health care, including access to contraception, and it's about assuring that women remain in control over this fundamental decision. This is about economic independence and planning your family. We shouldn't be embarrassed. We should vote green.